Morning. I have a bunch of errands to run today. I have to go get, I got a TB um, shot the other day. I need to go have that checked. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to the bank, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I thought I'd do another get ready with me. I know I just did one yesterday, but yesterday's, it just seems like I hide behind my mirror a lot when I'm doing, because I have to get close up um, to my mirror. I'll show you here. I have to get close up to my mirror, and it seems like I'm half in, just like this, all the time. And I don't like that. So what I think I'm going to do, I think that's a little bit better. I'm going to try this. Otherwise, I'm going to use my um, mirror that I have here. So I'm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Lumi again today. I used it yesterday. Um, it, I loved the way it made my skin look. I, I was talking to a bunch of my friends last night online, and so many of them don't like this. And I don't... I, I can understand why. The price point is expensive for drug drugstore. Plus, there's only, um, it's like half of a bottle of um, foundation. You know, it's much less than a normal one, one fluid ounce of foundation. Let's see here. This is 0.5 fluid ounces. So... 0.51 fluid ounces. Sorry about that. Um, so it's much less. Um, it's very sheer. Um, the, I don't like the cushion. Sorry, I keep saying um. <laughs> I don't like the cushion that came with it. So I use a damp beauty blender. The uh, I have to use it twice. I mean, I have to do two layers or whatever you want to call it uh, on my face to get medium coverage, but I love the way it makes my skin look. I think it looks beautiful on my skin. So, in, in for that reasoning, I like it. So, I'm going to use it again today. Um, I'm going to use, I've already mo moisturized, I just got out of the shower, I moisturized my face. I'm going to use Spackle by uh, Laura Geller. This is my favorite primer of all time. This is Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Ethereal. So I'm going to use that. Let's shake it up a little bit first. Sorry, my nose is itching. And you know me, as soon as I get on camera, my, my uh, nose starts running anyway. So if I'm looking over here, my camera's over, or my mirrors over here and like I said with my eyes I have to have uh, a camera camera um, a mirror because I cannot see otherwise okay I love this stuff. Just absolutely am in love with this stuff. Show you that in case nobody knows what it is. It is wonderful. I also, I really also like the one I used yesterday, which is the Magic Lumi. Okay, so I'm going to, while I'm doing this, let's see here. Okay, let's do the foundation. All right, here we go.
Okay, I'm going to do a second coat. Since I'm going to be running around town today, I'm not going to wear a ton of stuff. I'm not going to wear any eyeliner today. Um, I'd probably scare the people I work with. Just gonna get in close here to look and see what I think. I think it looks fine. I like it. Close that up. Alright, so let's go right to the brows like I normally do. Today I'm going to use Rimmel Brow This Way. Do I have my glasses on? So It's in a medium brown. Um, almost wondering. Let's see how this looks afterwards. But I think that that yesterday that I used the, the Gimme Brow was too light. And I don't use a pencil on my eyebrows. I just like the way it, you know, it just looks natural this way, I think. I forgot to comb my brows, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, this one here is a little bit darker than the one yesterday, and I like this better. Matches my hair color better. Of course, most of the hair on my brows is gray, so or blonde. Um, I had pure white hair until I was uh, six years old, till I went to school, and come on here. you can see better this time. I am seeing one hair here that's driving me nuts. I really like this. Um, the Rimmel. But it seems to flake just a little bit which that is what I don't like. Um, how do you stop that? Give me some hints on that. It just seems like it, it kind of balls up a little bit um, in a few spots. And I just don't like that very much. I'm going to use the same Ulta primer, eye primer, that I used yesterday, that I usually use. I'm trying to use it up, so... I'm trying just to use one eye primer when I use it. Okay. I should have had, I can't figure out what I did with my, there it is. I 
have stuff stacked here. Um, some of the girls from the group and I are going to do a, a collab coming up soon. And I have my stuff stacked here to do that video. So, um, okay, what I'm going to use today is my La Palette by L'Oreal number two. La Palette 2 and it's got more rosy colors and stuff in it which I really kind of am finding that I like roses and purples and I don't really want the purples I'm not super crazy about purple but I mean I love the color but not on my eyes I don't know um, okay I moved my desk around a little bit to give me a little bit more room and now i finding I'm really looking for stuff. I'm not finding stuff very easily. Okay, so let's use my little teens brush. And I'm going to just go in with a cream or kind of a really light uh, pale pinkish color for all over. Hoping you can see me. I'm a little. I'm a little farther away today. Um, I think that getting too close up was my part of my problem. keep using this brush I'm just going to clean it off in between all right um don't know if this is going to be too dark or not All right, so let's see here. Let's go in with, uh, I don't know what I want to use on the. I wish there was more of a sparkly. This brush sheds just a little bit, and it it's kind of it's not my favorite brush because it kind of hurts. Um, it's not soft enough, so it kind of um, pokes. Feels like it pokes me. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's go over that one more time with the blending.
This blending brush I'm using is a Sigma E40. Okay, there's my eyeshadow. Don't know. All right. So what I used was this on the crease, this purple. I used this on the lid, this lighter, very pale pink. And then I used this, this one all over. I love those. Love that eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't use it often enough, I find. All right, so I'm going to use my Ulta Voluptuous Volume Mascara today. This is the... And I probably should curl my lashes, but to tell you the honest truth, I forget. I'm not going to do anything to my lower lash line today since I'm just here in town. Um, I don't want people to say, oh, she's old. Why is she wearing all that makeup? Which, why should I care, right? Just from my family, like I'm, I'm from a family that doesn't wear much makeup. And, I mean, I shouldn't care what they think, but I do. Okay. Let me see how this... All right, so for blush, oh, let's go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm going to try the um, L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Concealer Corrector today. Um, I've had this for quite a while, but I have not hardly ever used it. Where's my beauty blender? Ooh. Okay, let's do just like we did yesterday with the Beauty Blender and just um I got this for this it's not a Beauty Blender first of all it's just a beauty sponge or whatever. I got this off of um Amazon to review. And I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed with this. It doesn't suck in totally a lot of the product. And, um, this doesn't hardly have anything in it. Look at that. There's nothing. There, it starts coming there. So it's like half full. It irritates me when companies try to trick you into stuff. Anyway, I can't even remember what I was talking Oh, the beauty blender. Or, or the blender. Um, I'm really impressed with it. It's, it's firm, yet it's soft. It uh, doesn't soak in a lot of the foundation or the concealer just got to get in here closer to see how I did here don't like it um, 
this is settling into a few of my lines here and so I like the one I wore yesterday a lot better Yeah, this is settling. Maybe if I did it a little different. Um, we'll see. You know, I'll try it again sometime. So, let's see here. For blush, I am going to use my MAC at dusk blush. Um, I'm hoping it's not too dark. I need to clean my brushes. <laughs> my blush brush is pretty full. Of pretty full of product. But I don't think I'll be, have time to do it today. I am. Going to use my physician's formula. This is translucent pearl. Not totally thrilled with their products. But um, with their. Highlighters and stuff. But they're okay. They're not terribly bad. Let's see, where's my brush? All right. Then, lastly, for lipstick, I am going to use my Collective Privy by Julianne, and it's number 620 Julianne's Nude. It's um, L'Oreal, I think. L'Oreal. I love them. They feel just so luxurious. They have reds too, but um, I haven't tried those. And this is the only nude that I really, really liked. So, we go. That is my makeup for the day, ladies. I hope you enjoyed this. And guys, if there's any guys out there. <laughs> I'm just going to try to get through this without having to cough. So I'm off on my errands and I will um, do another video when I get home. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.